How long does it take to put a suit on? We are We Sail. A year ago, we left on a journey of a lifetime, sailing around the world living the gypsy life. We have been living a dream that most wait a lifetime to do. Join us as we travel the world one nautical mile at a time. finishing off uh, last minute emails to let family know, but we are leaving Colombia and Cartagena for the San Blas Islands. And we're really excited because this is kind of, babe, <laughs> you're gonna get in the water. Uh, it's really exciting, excuse for the interruption, but uh, we're really excited for the San Blas Islands. We've heard so much different things about them, how unique they are, how remote they are, um, different than anything else that we've done in the Caribbean so far, but it also means it also means that we are right near the entrance of the Panama Canal, which we'll be crossing in February. So, lots of exciting stuff. Baby's finishing cleaning up. Don't you dare! <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, that's it. We're off. We're heading out of Colombia and on our way to Panama to the San Blas Islands. We had an excellent time here in Colombia, far exceeded our expectations once again. Uh, really enjoyed our time here, in fact stayed a little bit longer than we expected, which is kind of normal for the most part. And I can't wait to come back and explore this country even more. It's huge, it's big, we only got to discover a little bit of it in Cartagena. Uh, but we enjoyed our time in the marina, get to do some inland travels, but I have to say I'm ready to be back out at anchor and some sea breeze and be able to jump in the water again, definitely. Getting everything put away. I gotta do everything right now. Oh babe, how bad is that? It's really gross. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If this is as bad, I can't The bottom's not good. We're gonna have to clean it. And we just got it painted. Uh -huh. This is funny. For three weeks we've had winds out of the north or the east, which would be awesome for sailing today. First day in three weeks, they're due out of the west. That's just because we're in the bay. Okay, I hope so. Otherwise, we're motoring straight into the wind for the next two hours. We're being a negative Nancy. I was just being an observant Oliver. Okay, good morning. Where'd you go, babe? I'm up. Oh. Good morning. Um, we are just about to lift our anchor and head out for the San Blas Islands. We sailed over to a uh, smaller area lagoon outside of Cartagena a couple days ago just to kind of get closer so it wouldn't take us as long. So we have about a 24 hour sail to make landfall to one of the first islands of the San Blas of Panama. And we're very excited. This place is going to be, from what we've read, most different that we've been so far. Um, they have the Gunayala tribe, so all the islands are run by the tribes. They're completely independent from P Panama themselves and extremely remote. They rely heavily on, you know, buying their fish and their vegetables when they can get them, coconuts. But we're heading out there. We'll be there for a couple weeks before crossing through the Panama Canal. So we're just getting last minute things done, sending emails, letting our friends know, Marilee and Chad, who are flying in to meet us, because we won't be able to contact them until they fly in, since there's no cell phone service that we know of, but we'll meet them there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boom.
ready. Let's go. Now they're not close yet. How do you know that? I could have sworn I heard their anchor coming up. Yeah, and then they stopped. I told you it wasn't all the way. Because they put out 100, 500 feet. feet. <laughs> Well, the sails are up and we're sailing. We're motor sailing, actually, because we have very, very low winds, like 10 knots. It's just right at the brink of what we can actually sail. So, got the motors on a little bit. Just to, just to warm them up. Let me turn it off for just a little bit. You've got to think positively. This is true. Stay positive. Which one are we putting up? We're doing the ace, asymmetrical. I think we call our ace. So this is the plan, run the ropes, then we'll get ready to raise the sail. We'll roll all of the other sails in, pop up the sail, the whole thing takes about five minutes. I think. Are we gonna leave the main up though? No. Oh, okay. Motoring usually weighs our spirits down, but they were quickly lifted by a send-off party of dolphins. Well, this is a nice little surprise. night passage. That was pleasant. Yeah, well, I did two watches and you only had to do one. Yay. <laughs> the timing on that was... Hey, but who rested all day? That would be me. I did. You're right. We had a really nice little sail, though. We're 30 miles away. 
we've gotten the sail real low winds and we've gone slow but we did one sail change overnight yeah we did we did a full sail change we had to drop <laughs> drop the main roll in the jib and put up the um, asymmetric in the middle of the night yeah. it, was, it was doing all right for a minute yeah. of course now, once we put it up we were having wind on our 120 and then the minute we put it up it just shifted back up to 60 60 to 90 so we had to alter our course a little bit that's fine. Oh, sandblast, here we come. Whoa, is that land? Yeah. Is it really? Land ho already? Yeah. What are those clouds? I don't know. Oh, that is sand. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. He's putting us to shame with having the sails up. I know. He's going to probably beat us back in, too. No! <laughs> so what we have here is a indigenous tribal sailor from Samblas. To and they come to in. greet you and pilot you into the anchorage. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> oh, look at him go! <laughs> oh, hi! Are you the welcoming party? Good. Hey, buddy! <laughs> Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> All right. Oh, you ballsy bastard. This is so pretty here. Oh, 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 something's down. What was that, honey? Passage beer. Oh, definitely. Look at this place. Oh, goodness gracious. This is something else. Move it, I gotta work. Oh, you're bumping the cameraman. You want me to get you a passenger beer? <gasps> I love one. Okay. I think it was a deserveable. Deservable. I like making words up. Deservable. I deserveable. Oh, this is just beautiful. Unbelievable. A passage beer and some shameless plugging. <laughs> passage beer. Which one do you want? This one. Cheers. <laughs> it was a good trip. Great trip, um, actually. Yeah. Got to sail most of it. We motored probably a total of four hours, probably four total. Four hours, yeah. Out of 24. Yeah, I mean, like, ideally, we'd like to do all sail. All. It was just low winds, that's just all that was to it. But we just went from uh, just south of Cartagena to an island here in the southeastern bit of... The southeastern most part of San Blas the San Islands. Blas. Uh, this one's yep. called Isla Pinos. And the cool thing about this island chain, there's one island for every day of the year. 365. Are there really? I think it's 360, but let's just say 360 islands. 365 islands. So are we going to stay here for a year? I don't think so. I can't do a year here. <laughs> One day per every island, that'd be crazy. How long does it take to put a suit on? being in Cartagena. There's some growth for sure, but it's small and it appears to be coming off pretty easily. Little guy? It's not chewable. It's not too bad. <laughs> Just little guys, but they're slowing us down. We've lost a knot already. Really? Let's see. Here, come on over here. jump in the water and scrape off the hole after three weeks being in Cartagena it got destroyed basically all these little things growing all over it despite our new bottom paint that we put on 
less than two months ago. So I get to do that job today. Yippee! We always try to do the boat work first to get it out of the way. And then it's time to play. Let's go. I want to get out of this place. What do you want to do first? Put up the flag or drop the boards? Drop the boards. Let's go drop the boards. This place is just gorgeous. Run on it. You did it. See if you can do it better than me. Shabby for a couple country kids. <laughs> shabby indeed. This is the shot. If this first island was any indication of what we had in store, we were looking at a very enjoyable next few weeks. That is so cool! But first, lunch. Ah, baby. Cheers! <sighs> oh, Rasta, local guy, brought these. How much did we pay? Uh, Pennies. Oh, uh, 20 bucks for 25 oysters and these coconut little cakes. Okay. Plus, I just had to get rid of the rest of the pesos we had. <laughs> this is the best oyster bar we've ever been to. <laughs> yeah, it is. Mm. Oh. <laughs> A little bit of Cholula. Abby and Chris brought us down. It's a cute bottle. Thank you guys. Mmm. Oh. Sam. Come and get it. We got a beer ready for you too. God. Well done. Well done. Okay. They're really good. Best oyster bar in town. That's right. What are you Absolutely. sorting out with the dinghy? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell to get reminders of new episodes and also consider being our patron to get some exclusive content from WeSail. No, I'll put the sum away. <laughs> oh, no. I got this. <laughs> not work out Perfect. Well. This is what I'm talking about. They relax a little bit. <laughs> oh my god!
And I got it on camera. Oh. Maybe that's funny. Jackpot. <laughs>